From the 1950s to the 1970s, a Colombian priest collected many rocks and fossils. Two of these fossils he determined to be from an ancient type of plant. But now we know that they were actually from the shells of baby turtles. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and this priest, Father Gustavo Huertes, collected these fossils near a town called Villa de la Villa in Colombia. However, it wasn't until 2003 that Father Huertes actually described the fossils that he had, describing them as belonging to a plant genus called Sphenophyllum columbianum. There's only one problem with this. The fossils themselves date back to the Cretaceous period between 113 and 132 million years ago, and the Sphenophyllum plant genus existed from the late Devonian to the early Jurassic period, which ended about 100 million years prior to these fossils. So to find a seemingly new member of the Sphenophyllum plant genus 100 million years after the last known one existed is a little eye-catching to say the least. This piqued the interest of Fabiani Herrera, the Nabaumi assistant curator of fossil plants at the Field Museum of Chicago, alongside his assistant, Hector Palma Castro. The scientists traveled to the Universidad Nacional de Colombia in Bogota to photograph these new plant fossils and immediately notice that something wasn't right. At first glance, the fossils, which are really small, only a couple inches in diameter, look like the plant nodules of the Sphenophyllum plant genus. According to Herrera, the lines in the fossil itself were not lining up with what he was expecting to see when looking at other prehistoric plants, and they looked more like the lines of bones to him. So he sent photos of these fossils to an old colleague of his, Edwin Alberto Cadena. Cadena, who f specializes in turtles and other prehistoric vertebrates at the Universidad de del Rosario in Bogota said that they looked like the upper carapace of a turtle. More specifically, it was the upper carapace of baby turtles, which is incredibly rare. Even more amazing is that not only are these fossils of hatchling turtle shells, they are of the inside of hatchling turtle shells, which is even more rare than, than the other ones. And by comparing the fossils to other turtle fossils and modern turtles today, they were able to determine that these two hatchling turtles turtles died between zero to one years old, so really, really young. Turtles are already a little tricky to find in the fossil record due to their environments that they're overall found in, and hatchling turtles are even more rare because their bones are really, really thin and can be destroyed really easily, so they don't fossilize very well. So to have not just one, but two specimens of baby turtles it's a very unique and special find. It's actually the first of its kind found in South America, so definitely a very important find for paleontology. While the specimens don't have an official species cataloging yet, the researchers have given them a nickname, being Turtwig. Turtwig, of course, is a starter Pokemon from the fourth generation in the series, easily one of my favorite starter lines in Pokemon history. And it kind of fits because Turtwig evolves into Torterra, which is a turtle plant combination, so it's just perfect. Since the fossils were originally determined to be plants, but turns out were turtles, I think you can agree that the nickname of Turtwig is perfect for this new discovery. 